What's up guys, welcome to John's Daily Hustle. If you're like me and hate your motor being all scratched up like this and you're an Xmark owner, watch this. So you can go on Xmark's website and buy exact color matching paint on Xmark. However, that paint is $20 a can. Yes, it's actually $20 a can. I think it might be a little bit more than that. But for one little can, you're gonna pay $20 plus, right? Why do that when you could do this? This right here is all you actually need. Magic color code is Regal Red. And yes, that is damn near an exact match to this. I actually painted the entire deck to my Xmark Quest that I had. You guys can go check that video out here with a can of this stuff. And this stuff lasts a very long time, or at least you can paint the entire deck. It was a 50 inch deck with just one can of this. And this was $4 and I think 50 cents at Menards. If I can find some of it on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can check it out there. And if you don't believe me, you could do a little spray and match it up just like that. You can see it's still wet, so it might be a little bit brighter, but watch, once I do start spraying it on here, you guys won't even be able to notice a difference. And I'll try to be able to fade it in to where you can't really see it that well, or you can't tell that it was painted. It'll look brand spanking new, I promise. I'm going to go get the tripod set up, and we'll set you guys up, and we'll paint the deck. Just before you get started, you want to make sure that you clean the area real, real well before you do spray on it. However, it's just a mower deck. You know, you guys know I wash my mower. Try to anyways right after it's done. So I'm not too concerned about it being dirty because it's just going to get scratched up again as the year goes on. But I like to keep my stuff looking good. There you guys go. You can see after it is done, once as it dries, you'll never be able to tell a difference, especially once you get some dirt on it. And of course, I just realized that I didn't record that the entire time of painting it. But I will spin this around and we'll actually do the other side of the deck too. And I'll show you guys that process. And like I said, I actually have done an entire deck, an Xmark deck, on my residential mower I used to have with this stuff and it was an exact match and it looked great and actually the people that i ended up selling the mower to all said that the deck looked great like it was a brand new deck so i'm gonna let this side dry and then we'll actually spin it around and we might even do the front a little bit before we do the other side where the discharge chute is all right so i raised up the mower just so it's a little easier for me to work now you guys can kind of see where this is still you know a little dirty but it's scratched up and now I know this part of the deck is just going to get scratched up again, so I'm not real worried about it looking all that great. However, I just wanted to blend it in and kind of make it look better than what it is. So you really want to clean off the surface, which I did, but you guys can see, I mean, it's not super clean. But again, we're not painting the Mona Lisa here, nor are we painting cars, so it doesn't really matter that much. Now I am going to tape up my sticker because you guys know we cannot paint over stickers. That's a big no-no. I was trying to be careful about overspray there, but there you guys can see what it looks like when it's done. And then there's kind of a before anyway, so it gives it a nice shiny kind of a gloss look. And it's obviously very close to factory. So we're going to tape that sticker up. I'm going to paint that and we'll let this part dry and set. And we'll actually do the side discharge chute. And we're actually going to do up here where you put your feet as well. Of course, we're going to paint up here as well.
For anyone else wondering about the color black that Xmark uses, I believe it's actually just gloss black will match that. And for the wheels, if you wanted to paint the front wheels or even the back wheels, I believe just gloss white will actually match that color as well. So just letting you know in case you were painting the wheels or even like the back part of this, it's gloss black and gloss white will match that. So here you can see it's just about dry and looks pretty damn good. It's not too bad. And this is just part of that pre-season maintenance I like to do to make it look all good and everything. Get ready for the season. I know it's just going to get scratched up again as the year goes on, but you know, I like to make it look good. So I hope this video helps some of you guys out, especially you Xmark guys that Matt was interested in trying to paint your mower or at least make it look a little bit better or if you're like me and just like your stuff looking nice. Again, if you're interested in trying to buy the paint, be sure to check the description because I believe I'm going to put a link in there if I can find it, at least on Amazon anyways. I'll put a link in there to the paint, to the exact paint I used here and you guys can buy it for yourself. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video.